Hi, this is Kent Sanders from The Artist's Suitcase at artistssuitcase.com. I want to take just a minute today to show you how to forward an email into an Evernote notebook. Now, why would you want to do this, first of all? Well, it's because you can save your emails to you know a saved items folder, like uh, this one right here, or maybe this one down here, and you can save those in there and have thousands and thousands of emails that you have to search through, or you can forward those to specific Evernote notebooks, the ones that you want to keep, and those can be uh, sort of in a notebook right beside other items like documents, pictures, notes, audio files, whatever else that you want to put in an Evernote notebook. Those can be right beside other things that have to do with the same topic. So let me show you how to do this. Let's say uh, I subscribe to Seth Godin's blog by email. So let's say I want to uh, forward this email right here into an Evernote notebook. And so what I would do, and let me show you my Evernote File right here. So let's say I've got a notebook. Um, you can see right here titled Godin for Seth Godin. Now I don't really have one there, I just put it there for demonstration purposes. These are all my Evernote notebooks. So let's say I have a notebook here titled Godin. Now you could have one titled whatever. I've got lots of these here that you can see uh, for different projects, different you know parts of my life, and whatnot. Let's go back to my Mac Mail and I'm gonna forward this to my Evernote email address and let's say if I want to send it from my Gmail or whatever I'm going to type in AAA Evernote now that's not my actual address my actual Evernote address is kentsanders.029a9 at m.evernote.com and I'll show you in just a second where you can find out what your uh, Evernote email address is but what I do in my contacts I have this set up as AA Evernote so that whenever I go to forward something to my Evernote all I do is I type the letter A and actually this is the first thing that comes up instead of have, having to type the whole thing out or having to hit a few keys I just want to hit one key okay so it's going to my Evernote email address and then here's the key is at the end of the subject line I'm going to put the at symbol and the name of the notebook that I want to send it into so I'm going to type in Godin or Seth Godin and you can also add a hashtag there if you want to and make it a little more specific, you know, for whenever you search for something. But I don't use hashtags that much. Uh, you can if you want to. And I'm going to send that. And then I'm going to go to Evernote. And I'm going to sync this. So it's going to catch this email. It comes in, and there it is. Okay, and you can see that this has gone right into this. A uh, folder that I've set up, so it's gonna. Or I'm sorry, the correct notebook. I keep calling it a folder, but it's a notebook. It's gone into the correct notebook there, and I don't have to do anything further with it. It's just in there for whenever I want to access it. Now, here's how you find out your Evernote email address. On a Mac, you go up to Evernote at the top, hit Account Info, and it's going to tell you what your email address is right here. On a PC, on the same menu, you're going to have a Tools tab. You're going to click on tools and it's going to have a drop down menu that says account info or something similar to that. Click on that and that's going to tell you what your Evernote email address is. So hopefully this is helpful to you. I use this almost on a daily basis to forward important emails into specific Evernote notebooks and it's very, very helpful. So enjoy.